everyone and welcome back to the happy heart i'm so glad that you guys came over today to see this pantry tour this is usually a part of my kitchen that i don't show i usually do cleaning videos uh lifestyle videos and for some reason my camera never faces this way in my kitchen it's always facing the other way so this is kind of a special treat and I will show you guys the tour of my pantry. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications. If you are curious, I also did a refrigerator tour as well. And that is in a separate video. I just noticed that it got kind of long. And so I thought maybe I should just make it two separate videos because we all know that I am a talker. So without further ado, I'll show you my pantry. So like I told you guys, this is the part of my kitchen that I don't see a lot in the videos because this is all that's on it. And this is actually just a cabinet. I wanna say it's from Lowe's. The homeowners actually left it because they said there was no pantry in the kitchen basically. And my house was built in the mid 80s. So, and it's been flipped and remodeled a bunch, but they said this was the best solution they came up with and they asked if we wanted it or wanted it to be left in the house when we started renting and I said, yes, please. And so this is our pantry. On a side note, this is actually a cabinet from, that was my grandmother's and that was in my mom's house and now it's in my house and those are my grandmother's dishes. And that is a marriage certificate from the 18, from the 1800s, I wanna say. I think it's my great, great grandmother's marriage certificate. So I always keep that up all the time. And these birdhouses are a project me and Ryan are gonna do this week and I always keep a really big platter up there that doesn't fit anywhere else. Kind of one of those just white Thanksgiving turkey platters. So that's why there's stuff on top. Usually there's not anything on top. On, on a side note, I always keep um, my trash can over here in a caddy corner, which drives my husband crazy, and it's kind of worth it to put a caddy corner for that reason. No, I'm just kidding, guys. But um, I always keep four cases of water on hand. I know that that is crazy excessive. I get it, I understand. Um, we live in the South, and I am super paranoid of hurricanes or um, power outages, and it happens to us quite a bit. You would think it wouldn't, but it does. So this is kind of my emergency safety thing. And so we just kind of go through them. And as you can see, I actually asked my husband to stack them up nice and everything for me. So I totally want to give him credit on the video because he came over and stacked them up very nicely. Without further ado, I'll show you what's in my pantry. All right guys, this is my pantry. And we'll go ahead and just open both sides. So this is just a cabinet. I'm assuming it's like a closet cabinet because of this. It works really well. And this is all my craziness going on in here. And we'll kind of go cabinet by cabinet and show you guys what's going on. In the very back is my extra sugar. There's brown sugar and I keep long rice um, back there as well. So when I want to stock up, I kind of stock back there with usually with rice and sugar. My husband loves chicken rice, so I try to keep that on hand, and he is not picky. So rice a -roni or this Nor chicken flavored rice, and he loves either one of those. You can tell that I have a little powdered sugar, and then I have a stash of those cherry limeade um, things that you put inside water to make it taste good, like flavor, and those, that's my husband's as well. And I have a stash of Jello just in case. Sorry guys, I'm really short. Um, I keep oyster crackers and I also keep a stash of, this is the best gravy mix, OMG. I always get the country one and I get the sausage flavored, but I've tried them all and this one, the regular one, they're all really, really, really good. Um, I always have some instant rice on hand too. We're not huge potato people, but my husband would prefer rice probably more than potatoes, so I keep a lot of rice on hand. This second shelf is crazy packed right now, and I'll tell you guys why. It has a bunch of cans on it, and the reason for it was I did this demonstration at Vacation Bible School 
where I put and I used cans as the weights and I put a bunch of weight in a backpack and I did this illusion of you know that we carry around all this weight and that we don't need to and I put labels on all the cans well then I took it all home and ended up with a bunch of cans and so we've been slowly going through it and I I try to use frozen or fresh vegetables so it's gonna take us a while but we'll go through it that's why we have I use the tuna fish as one of the cans one of the weights as well so that's why that's in here this whole thing all the way back is green beans I have pizza sauce right in front and this is for that um, pizza that we're making with the Texas toast so I went ahead and grabbed that at the store this is all corn there is four of these tomato sauces actually I think there's more I think there's eight of them but I think they're just in a different place and um, I use two though when I make Mexican rice so they go really fast and I mean they are pretty cheap I want to say they're like 40 cents a piece keep beans on hand and uh, baked beans are back there and those are actually I was trying to find different sizes of cans when I was doing this illusion with the kids so that's why I have kind of a lot in here um, hence the reason why I have tomato paste I don't normally buy that back there there are some soups and I always have cream of mushroom and cream of chicken soup on hand that is my whole can shelf and I think I have some all on a different shelf as well because they were spilling over so much oh and as you can tell I had I didn't tell you guys um, green chilies and olives on hand because I use them for enchiladas and um, so I keep those on hand because they're a family fave in my family and these um, chipotle peppers I have a couple different recipes that I use this for I use it actually for a Dr. Pepper pulled pork most often and so I keep this on hand for that this shelf is kind of a hodgepodge right now because of what I told you I was kind of running out of room so we'll kind of go through it and I'll tell you what's in there it's kind of a weird size too as you can see so I put basically stuff that was taller on that on this particular shelf so you could tell I have green beans because how many green beans does one family need right um, I have corn muffin mix back here and blueberry muffin mix I bought two of each and I kind of keep them on hand just for fun these are I want to say less than a dollar and they're the jiffy mixes and oh my gosh I think the blueberry muffins are so good I've been eating them since I was little I try to kind of keep a stash of things so I have two um, barbecue sauces and um, usually I buy honey barbecue sauce unless recipe calls for something specific I always have syrup on hand and I like to buy the syrup with butter as you can tell I have a big thing of Bush's baked beans back there because I had that for a gathering and didn't end up using it and I have Italian breadcrumbs that I always keep on hand and I keep plain panko on hand as well you'll see back there that I have lasagna noodles and I always I always buy thin spaghetti I don't like the regular spaghetti so I try to buy the thin kind and I've been buying it in bigger quantities since my child likes it so that is what's going on back there um, this is my favorite pesto so I keep that on hand as you can see my cans that I told you guys about that were spilling over the tomato sauces and I have two things extra of spaghetti I usually have fettuccine down here I make a really good lemon chicken pasta with fettuccine noodles and I'll link that video above as well this is my favorite spaghetti sauce so far I try to keep two on hand because it's just such an easy go-to thing in my house and my child loves it and oh can't go wrong with it you can see back there that I have a stash of salad dressing so um, I'm pretty sure I bought these to take somewhere and forgot them in fact I think I did do that for small group and that's why I have them but I have a zesty Italian and a ranch and I have a ranch hiding back there 
I even have a regular ranch hiding back there. Right back here, that's some chicken stock that I keep on hand when I make soup. I make really good cauliflower soup and I make really good chicken noodle kind of creamy soup. And so if I have filmed those, I'll link those above for you. This, this is frosting, like canned frosting. Some sugar cookies because who doesn't love having sugar cookies? I use those when my child wants to make cutout cookies. And I keep um, Crisco on hand for the bread I make. And my go-to thing to take anywhere is bread or salad and people love it. So I keep that on hand for the bread I make. My camera was dying, so I am bound by a cord at the moment, so I can't get super, super close, but I will do my best. Uh, back there in the back is a tin that doesn't have anything in it. <laughs> First thing, right? It's empty. But it's a chocolate chip tin, and usually when I have chocolate chips, I put them in that tin, unless it's really, really hot and I know they're gonna melt. Uh, just because I thought it was super cute, and it came free a couple years ago. Back here, talking hand, I think this is fun. Um, back here is um, some tea that I keep on hand when we make uh, sweet tea. It's just a regular Lipton's tea. And if I could reach it, I would get it out for you guys, but I can't reach it and hold the camera. And my husband usually makes the tea. I think he uses like three or four bags and he'll make big pitchers of sweet tea because we live in the South and that's what everybody loves. Um, and we usually make it when we have parties. There is a box of saltine crackers and I keep those on hand because you just never know with kids and stomach aches and things like that. And uh, we make like homemade Lunchables with those as well. My kid thinks it's amazing. Uh, this is something I've been trying. I always see people saying that their kids eat oatmeal for breakfast. So I got some oatmeal, I got brown sugar and maple because I thought maybe my son would eat it if it's sweet. Keep forgetting about it, so hopefully one day we'll get to that and we'll try it. And then I have two frostings back there. For some reason, I kind of end up forgetting that I have a frosting or something like that. And then I end up with quite a bit, so. I do end up going through things, so don't worry. I. You know, if I see like the date is coming, I'm like, oh, let's make this or that. So uh, this sparkling cider, I'm not really sure how it became an extra one and I need to find a way to use it or look and see if it goes bad. I'm not even sure about it, but um, I think we got it for Easter and we might've got two and just drank one. You'll see in the back that I have some just cheap AP flour, all purpose flour, if you don't know what that means. And this, I kind of tried to organize in this little, thing from the Dollar Tree. I told you guys that I take salad a lot and um, so I so I end up accruing a lot of salad items. So I have uh, three things of croutons. Who would have guessed? And then I put I have nuts in here as well. So I have cashews and I have almonds in here as well. I love putting sunflower seeds in my salads. Sometimes I do this when I take it, sometimes I don't, depending. This is my other favorite that people just don't see coming and that's why they love my salads so much. I always, um, I like to add in pecans and cranberries, the dried ones, and oh, they're so good. Um, I end up chopping them finer than what they are in this package, but everybody asks about them. And look at, there's Kona. We're actually babysitting, we're dog sitting at the moment. So Kona's helping me film. We'll start from the bottom and go up. On this bottom shelf, I keep everything that is just a little bit taller because it is the tallest shelf I have in my pantry. Right now I have three containers of cereal. Kind of a lot of other funny things over here. I'll show you. What I have, this is Special K cereal. This is actually my favorite cereal. Pretty much the only one I eat. And then this is cereal for my son. There's usually Honey Nut Cheerios um, or regular Cheerios, whichever he wants, and it's usually filled. And these are Fruit Loops, and it's usually filled as well. I really try to make sure that these all are emptied before I put a new box in because I know cereal can go stale. 
So that's why it probably looks like I have a lot of boxes, but I just wait till it's every last bit is gone before. I don't wanna put the fresh cereal on top of the stale cereal. So let me give you this overview. This is the rest of the cereal, no joke. Lucky Charms, um, these are the fruit rings that uh, will replace those when it's done. These are Rice Krispies. Um, I usually keep them on hand to make Rice Krispie treats because that is a go-to dessert. And I feel like every week I'm taking something to small group, to church, to dinner with somebody. And so a lot of things I kind of keep on hand for that reason. This is one of them. My husband loves Frosted Flakes. Gets mad when I buy him the actual name brand of Frosted Flakes. <laughs> but I always keep this in here. It takes him a little while to go through it, but it's one of those things when he wants it, he really wants it. And he is so selfless that if he really likes something, I try to keep it on hand because he just doesn't ask for a lot. I keep cornflakes in here, not to eat as cornflakes, but I keep them on hand for um, cornflake chicken that I make. It's my grandmother's and my mother's tried and true recipe, and I keep that on hand for that. This is the other guilty pleasure that, oh my gosh, is so good, and it's one of my things that I like, and it's the Boom Chicka Pop, and it's sweet and salty kettle corn. All right, you guys, we're gonna go to the next shelf up, and my pantry kind of just works for me. There's not a lot of like super organization. It's just kind of where things fit and then I get used to it being there and it makes sense in my brain. So um, I have some snacks right here. I went at the beginning of summer and got some snacks um, when I went to Costco with my neighbor and these were some of them. My son loves these peanut butter crackers. He doesn't really like the ones with cheese, but he likes the ones with peanut butter. So I got kind of a lot for the summer. Um, so I'm sure this will go into the fall. I thought he would eat more of them, but he's just not a super like foodie kind of guy, I guess you could say. And I also got a big thing of fruit snacks and I ended up getting the wrong brand. We usually get Mott's and this is Welch's and they just aren't as good. So I might end up giving those to my neighbor though. These two baskets right here in front, I put onions in this one and I usually put potatoes in this one. These are both from the Dollar Tree and I love these baskets because they're just easy to clean and easy to pick up and you can kind of make them as narrow as you want depending on the room you have. So they've actually worked really great for me. I will show you guys back here. I have corn tortillas and flour tortillas. We have Taco Tuesdays and I usually use corn tortillas and um, I make enchiladas and I use flour tortillas. I also use flour tortillas for um, chimichangas and um, if we do chorizo and eggs, we'll do flour tortillas as well. So that's why I have those. Back over here is some Air Pop popcorn and some pancake mix. If you come up to my next shelf, it's kind of a hodgepodge. On this side, this all the way back is peanut butter. I don't know why, I have this weird thing, I think I'm gonna run out, I don't know. So I have three or four in here. Yeah, I have four right now. These two are open, and I try to keep the ones that are open in the front because my son will notoriously open one, and we already had one open. This is my favorite jam. Boysenberry, oh my gosh, this is my favorite, 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 favorite. It's really hard to find where I live. My son loves strawberry jam, and this is the one I buy for him. I also have a grape one back there in case we have guests because I know kids either like one or the other. I have stuff to make s'mores. It sounds really weird, except for the chocolate. My husband and son must have ate the chocolate. But um, during the summer, I usually keep stuff on hand to make s'mores, and I like to keep marshmallows around for Rice Krispie treats as well. So I have marshmallows, and then I have um, graham crackers. I always get the cinnamon ones because I can just um, grab one of those, and I think they're better than the regular ones. So I have those. This Hearts of Palm, my neighbor gave me, told me it was really good. I'm not sure how to cook it. If you guys know how to cook it, 
I would love to know because it's not old or anything. I just don't know how to cook it. And we also have, these are my favorite. They're um, Ritz crackers with cheese in them and I just love them. All of this though is from my husband. And what I mean from my husband is my husband travels a lot for work and he will go grocery shopping and eat in his hotel room instead of going out every night. And he can save money that way and it works out really good. If he doesn't finish it all, he throws it in his suitcase and brings it home. So I have, no joke, nine boxes of macaroni and cheese, five things of Easy Mac, I have three things of Top Ramen and a cup of soup back there. And when he first brought these back a couple months ago, I had a whole case of ramen and a whole case of soup. So this is kind of our just little stash and it grows and then we eat it and then it grows again. And my husband's just super practical and he won't waste anything, which is amazing. But he ends up bringing home the stuff that he buys on the road that is convenient and easy. The bad thing is, if it's just me and Ryan, Ryan will sometimes want macaroni and cheese, but we don't eat it a lot. So it takes us a while to go through it, but we eventually go through it all, so it doesn't really matter. All right, guys, this is the snack shelf. I tried to put it high enough that my son would be deterred from it, but you know, I always have terribly terrible snacks in here that are so good. So um, just on this side, that's an extra paper towel holder. I got a new one, but I didn't want to throw this one away just yet. So I didn't know where to put it. So I'm storing it back there. But I have um, pretzels that I eat with hummus. And I love these Walmart ones because they're 90 cents for this big bag. I also have some kettle chips back here and I love kettle chips. My husband actually bought these a couple of days ago and I think has eaten one maybe, so who knows. You'll find things like this in my pantry because my mom will send them to Ryan. So she sends fun sized things a lot to him. Uh, she also sends me Slim Jims because she knows that's, I really like those. I have to be in the mood for them, but I really like them. Also, in this hodgepodge of unhealthiness is a bag of nacho cheese Doritos that's almost empty. There's a bag of sour cream and cheddar chips, and those are just the Walmart brand. Um, I got this gum for my son just out of nostalgia. I grabbed applesauce while I was at the store the other day. I like to get him the applesauce with cinnamon. I feel like... I don't know. I just feel like he likes it better. I don't know. Maybe it might be just me that likes it better. I don't know. But I've always kind of bought him the applesauce with cinnamon. So I think he got used to the taste. These up here. We always have popcorn because my husband loves popcorn. So you'll you'll see that I had air pop popcorn and I also have regular popcorn. Um, of course you have to have Incredibles goldfish because who doesn't have goldfish with the Incredibles on them, right? No, goldfish are like a staple in our house. These are our favorites. I don't buy them all the time. Uh, maybe once every couple months. And if the bad thing is if I buy them, my son eats them a lot. So I try not to buy them, but as a special treat here and there, I will buy them. Um, and they're just raspberry pop tarts. They're really hard to find. The only place I can find them is Walmart and they're so good. I love them too. And then my husband brought home some sunflower seeds from one of his traveling trips and um, he's slowly going through those as well. This brown case is, I'll show you guys, hold on. Okay guys, so I took it out of there so you could see it better. This is just a box to keep the silverware in and this is my nice silverware. When I graduated high school, my mom told me that her grandmother bought her a nice set of silverware. And I said, oh my gosh, I want that too. So my grandmother brought me this, bought me this one. And I can't remember what this pattern is called. It's called, it's really hard to see guys, I'm sorry. I can't remember what the pattern's called. It's called Rose something. And I really liked it. It was out of a catalog and she just showed me, but I wanna say they're like Oneida or something. They're not like, 
super fancy or anything like that. Um, it was just a, to have your everyday set and your nice set basically was the idea. And this box actually came from a garage sale. So that's why it's like chipped up and all that stuff. But it keeps it safe and, um, you know, all nice. So I use this for like Easter, Christmas, you know, things like that. And nobody knows that it's really not expensive silverware. It's just pretty. So I picked my pattern. And I remember when I was a little kid, my mom had a box just like this and she had her pattern of silverware in it and we used it for special occasions. So that is everything in my pantry, guys. Um, it seems kind of full and it is a little bit right now, but that is all my contraband and all my unhealthiness mixed in with some of my healthiness and some of my stuff I stock up on. Thank you guys so much for coming over and seeing uh, this pantry tour. I know that I had a lot of stuff in my pantry that was unhealthy and a lot of fun snacks, but it's just what I have. And right now I have quite a bit of canned food that I don't normally have, but it's just kind of the way it goes in life for me. So you know how it is up and down, but this is how it works right now. Um, I'm kind of thinking about doing like a freezer challenge or a pantry challenge and seeing like how much we could pare down and all that. So if that sounds like a fun video, let me know in the comments below because I'm really thinking about trying. I see people do it all the time and I think it might be fun. I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Thank you so much. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see y'all again. Bye for now.